Okay, I've never used an electric mower before, and I just thought there's no way they can keep up with gas. But then I got a Ryobi weed eater this year that absolutely performs like my gas weed eater. So I picked this bad boy up, 40 volts. It has a spot for two 40 volt batteries. The other one's charging. This key to get it going, and I'm gonna use this and mow and see how it works. You can easily switch between bagging and mulching just by moving this lever right here. You can see how much battery is left. Uh, there we've got a one release handle to move the handle. That's very nice, very convenient. It has an all wheel drive on and off switch right here. It has a speed selector right here for how fast you wanna go. Here to get the blade going and then just move it. I mean, that's about as easy as it gets right there. So I'm going to put it on bagging right now because I have some leaves in the yard. You can see it's got the discharge chute here. So I can just take this off, lift that up. Take that off and then that's good for bagging. And then I can put this back on for when I want to mulch or just side discharge. It has a couple headlights in the front, which I don't really need because I don't mow at night. It has multi blades, 21 inch. So if we look at the bottom here, you can see it's got two blades. Um, very nice. So we've got like a cutting blade and a mulching blade. Okay, so quick first response is it cuts tall, thick grass, no problem. It's actually shocking. It feels like an eight horsepower mower when it's going through tall, thick grass. What I don't like is its ability to lift stuff up. So it doesn't pick up leaves very well and it doesn't pick up stuff close to the ground very well unless you drop the deck down. And so I'm just used to having a little bit more lift on that, which will probably be okay in the summertime, but in the fall with the leaves, I'll have to blow off the leaves in between Maybe that's okay, but the, the mowing ability is shocking. And then the battery life is outstanding. I didn't even use one of the two batteries it comes with to mow my lawn. I still had reserve in one of the batteries and the second battery was full. So that blew my mind. I thought I used about half of all of the ba both batteries. No, I used almost one battery. And uh, so I gotta say Ryobi, man, fantastic job. The adjustability on the speed and being able to use it left or right handed ambidextrously, depending on the situation in the yard is fantastic. The speed goes from a nice crawl to going through thick stuff to a really fast um, pace, which would be equal to like a slow walk, which is really nice uh, speed for a mower when you wanna get moving. You can move it in self propel mode without the blade going. It takes the blade about five seconds to speed up. It sounds like a jet engine whirring up. And then the speed doesn't change when it's going. It's really amazing. Now my lawn's not wet, so I'm not cutting in wet grass or anything. But I gotta say my first impressions is this is a winner for a mower. The all wheel drive, the mulching, the bagging, it's and the speed control, the thumb, the power, and it's really blew my mind. Really blew my mind. And then no more gas, no more gas.